Uh, welcome. Uh, today we're going to go over the ENVO mask. My name is uh, Chris Allen. I'm with the York County Emergency Management Agency, a HAZMAT team, and also a Wells uh, call firefighter. Uh, today we're going to go over our ENVO mask, a uh, new mask that we're getting for uh, firefighters here in the county, and probably push it out further than that. Um, Envovask is a uh, locally made mask, uh, made down in uh, Hampton, New Hampshire. So it is a local company. We're proud to uh, say we're taking care of people around the, uh, around the state and around this area. Um, mask comes with one instruction booklet. Please read. Good reading. Um, don't fall asleep while you're doing it, please. Five filters, a carrying case, a mask front, the mask body, and your headgear. Um, before we go out and use our, uh, our mask out in the field, um, if we can please put your name on the back of your housing or your storage case and somewhere on your frame of your mask so that we don't cross contaminate our masks with each other. Um, the goal is to get every firefighter in your county one of these masks. So there'll be a lot floating around. We're trying to keep them separated out um, for each individual. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we're going to assemble our mask. Uh, take it out of the box, take it out of the uh, storage container, get your all, all your parts together. First thing is get your filter. Filter goes with the lettering facing out. Tuck it in nice and neat making sure that all of the, uh, the filter material is even around the edges. And make sure you haven't pushed it through, leaving a gap on the front side. Once you have it all put in nice and neat, we're going to line up the top of the mask with the top of the body, click it together, and make sure we line our arrows up on the bottom. Both sides need to click in tight. And your mask has been assembled. Next we'll add our headgear, holds it in, sew it all the way through, and the second side, same thing. So we have a mask and a head strap. To don your mask, Take and put it on like a set of sunglasses. And there are a couple of ways to wear the mask. First one is over the ears. Tuck them in. Take your strap, pull it, and slide the ball up tight so that the mask stays firmly on your face. Then, as with any mask, do a negative pressure check. See if you are leaking air around your seal. This may work for, for several people, but not everyone. We do have permission from the manufacturer to do it in an alternate way. And the alternate way, hook your headgear together and place it up over your head. Place it over your head like you would a, a regular N95 and again, pull the back and tighten and check. Negative pressure check, I'm good to go. I'm now wearing my mask. This is the proper wear of your new Envo mask. Next, we're going to go over proper donning and doffing of the mask that may have been exposed to the uh, COVID virus. Um, as with anything you're doing around the virus, we need to make sure that we're properly PP'd up and proper doffing. 
We're keeping the inside of the mask away from any material that may uh, introduce our virus. You can set it down, put it away, put it in a paper bag for now, keep it, uh, keep it clean. Um, at the end of the day, we need to dismantle the, uh, dismantle the mask, and they can be a little difficult to, stop, to snap off, but one side and pick up. We'll take a filter, um, we'll go over the reuse of filters at a, a, a later on in the video. Um, then this can get washed in um, mild soap and water. Don't use alcohol, uh, chlorine bleach, purple wipes. Um, again, only, only mild soap and water. And double check that your exhaust valve um, seal is still intact and in good shape. When you're done with it, you can clean and dry, put it in your storage container, and store your mask away. Next I'm going to go over our uh, filter reuse program. Uh, this is a way to extend out our filters beyond um, the five days that we would normally have with five filters. Uh, CDC guidance has given us permission under the Emergency um, Health Emergency Act to reuse N95 or N95 filters uh, beyond a single use uh, program. Um, they do suggest, however, not to reuse them day after day after day, but to rest your filter for at least four or five days to let the virus expire. The virus doesn't last beyond 48 hours on porous materials, so if we have COVID virus on our filter, we can put it away, let it rest for several days, and reuse it on, in this case, our sixth day. Uh, we have five bags, five filters, run through them all and go back to day one. Um, that does not mean if you have a dirty, a damaged, or a known infected uh, filter, i.e. if you have mucus on it, uh, vomit, or uh, bodily fluids on that filter, dispose of the filter and get a new one. If it is still visibly in good condition, then we can extend its use uh, beyond a single use item. Um, there will be more information available um, both in-house and online on filter reuse under the uh, COVID-19 protocols. Um, thank you very much for your time uh, today on today's explanation of the Envo mask. Um, please take care of your mask. It will take care of you. If you do have questions, you can bring them up through your chain of command or call the uh, York County Emergency Management Office and we will get you an answer. Uh, if we don't have it immediately, we will go through the um, proper paperwork or instructions or contact the manufacturer with any uh, questions you have and get back to you. Again, I'm Chris Allen from the York County Emergency Management Agency. Thanking you again.